<laughs> the movie Step premieres in theaters on August 4th. Step is a true life story of girls' high school step team set against the, back, the background of the heart of Baltimore. And uh, the coach of the step team. Coach is G. Hey, Co- hey, hey. Coach Jerry McIntyre. Gary. It's Gary? I'm yes. sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's Coach G. It's Gary McIntyre. Yes. From Baltimore. West Side. All right. <laughs> All day. Let me All tell day. you. Uh, Sybil went to a screening, and she came back raving about it. She can't wait Aww, for it to come out in theaters. She says, she says she wants to see it six times. I've to. seen I've seen Hidden Figures and I've seen Wonder Woman, <laughs> and, and this is the movie that people need to see. It is um, based so upon much. a step team at the Baltimore Leadership a School, school, school for, for Young, young women. women. Yep, and it is in the wake of the Freddie Gray murders. A year later, murder, and you are from that neighborhood. I I live in that neighborhood. Yes, and this young woman from Coppin State, Coach G. Hey, Coppin. Uh-huh. comes in as the coach for the step group at uh, Baltimore Leadership Academy. And these young women, it focuses on three young women, but Coach G is the heart and soul of this team in that she takes them and she molds them in a way that we all want to be a part of and 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 want to be able to do that with other young women. Congratulations. Thank you so it's much. It's a documentary, but it is it takes you, and I'm telling you, I got so caught up in this. I was like, mm. I want to be Coach G's friend. <laughs> I want to take Blessing and I want to take Taylor and I want you know oh, and, and yeah, it's yeah. like but here's the thing you open yourself up mm-hmm. because you are as big a part of this movie as they are because your spirit and your ability to open up and, and to show this story is as big as these other people in this movie absolutely because I have to if I hadn't opened myself up then somebody would not have made it seriously if I would you, not have gave my testimony and told them I messed up. Mm-hmm. I did things wrong. I did things right. I didn't get it the first time. Heck, I didn't get it the second time. Mm-hmm. But in real life, somebody would have thought that what they was doing was okay and would have gave up. And especially a young woman like Blessing. Absolutely. And you I, got I, another I fan definitely... who, who's seen a, a screening of the, the movie. Oh, oh, really? Yes. Sherry Shepard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Coach, you know what I loved? Um, I loved how you shared your life and you let the girls know that you know, you fell away from school. Boys got in your way mm-hmm. and how you made your way back because they looked at you like you went through this too. Yep. And what I also love, Blessing was one of the, the girls who, who uh, was in the documentary. Mm-hmm. And she needed Step to survive. Absolutely. Because she came, I mean, they all came from a, a, a background that was just harsh. But she really needed Step because she wasn't going to make it. Absolutely. But I loved how firm you were with these girls. You did not I, play. I, I, I know how why you were, but can you explain to the audience, you were hard on these girls, <laughs> even though they, like, the power didn't got cut off, they don't have a daddy, yeah. they ain't eating in, in, yep. in days, but you were so hard. Why? She was like, lean on me. Huh? <laughs> because yes, I've been it, through those same, very same things. Seriously, I really mm-hmm. have. I've experienced those firsthand. And if I gave up or didn't keep my tunnel vision or got discouraged, then I would not have made it. Where did that come from in you? I think just the mere fact that it takes a village and I know Mm. that every single person around me has invested in me in some way and I wanted to be one of those people in their village and I truly am to this day. They've graduated and I'm still a part of their lives. And you do show the village um, because the moms that are involved in the the program uh, as as well. So the director really captures the heart and soul of this, this school. Um, the the counselor. Yes, um, my girl Paula Dofe. Uh, oh, Miss Dofe, she don't play either. <laughs> she don't play. Oh yeah. my she's, she's she's y'all New didn't York. Play with these girls, y'all, she's y'all New were York really... all day. How did you get a documentary like this greenlit? Well, actually, the director. This was her brainchild. She's very passionate about Baltimore. She's from Baltimore. Her mother is an activist from Baltimore. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. She lived in New York, and Freddie Gray happened, and she did not like how her city was being portrayed. Mm-hmm. Um, you she, didn't know her before the. Freddie I did Gray. not. I met her that scene, Sherry mm-hmm. and um, Sybil. When I walked in, that's when I met Amanda. Oh. Um, they needed a step coach, and one of my sorority sisters recommended me because we won the homecoming step show, and I was like, uh, no. <laughs> and then my you're, boyfriend was like, uh, um, yes, you're, you're doing this. I am. Let's get let's get that. Out yes, there. yes. Hey, yes. Soro. <laughs> and you represent not only the Deltas so well, but the but Coppin State. Absolutely. Yeah. Got to put my HBCU on the map always because people are get so caught up in these name brand schools when you know all these great schools stand for Harvard. All those are great, but they're not giving out any money. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. copping mm-hmm. and a lot of HBCUs, I know about copping specifically because it really changes lives and nurtures communities. I graduated mm-hmm. high school with a 1.8 GPA. Hello. And I went to Coppin State University my first semester, 3.5. Graduated wow. with wow. honors. Mm-hmm. Bachelor's in Science and History with a mind in secondary education and special education. So it is possible. Yeah. Because nurturing pays. Nurturing, nurturing, yeah, nurturing. Pays. And that, that is what changes oh, yeah, the culture of our young people. Mm-hmm. Well, Coach G, this is the, the, the question I have because I work with a lot of girls mm-hmm. in the inner city in Chicago. And they come to me with the same question. How I get that money you make, Miss Cherry? Mm-hmm. And I say, you got to do boom, boom. Now, I want that money. They see these reality shows. Yep, yep, you're, yep. you're competing against all of these reality shows and this easy money mm-hmm. that they see. Mm-hmm. How do you combat that and really show these girls that, like what you showed, Blessing and Taylor mm-hmm. on this documentary of going to college, that college will get you, is the world will open up to you. All of these young ladies on the step team, really are truly loved and you don't Mm -hmm. need likes when you have love period Mm -hmm. you don't need likes on instagram when you have love you don't need negative attention from men when you have true love around you and true examples of how Mm -hmm. you should be treated by a man how you should be treated by your friend because this is a time where it's being glorified for you to be disrespectful to a friend that's not okay to bring a woman down. No, mm-hmm. I lead by example. I would never embarrass them. I will never shade my coworker, no matter how I feel, what kind of disagreement. I have to be the example to them. And to get through them, just be real. Talk to them on their level. Like, listen, okay. I know what y'all doing. I was 17 before. So many right. times us adults get caught up in the, oh, we made it syndrome. But right. it took somebody to open up the door for you to Who get there. Who was that there. somebody for you? So many people, was, but yeah. mainly my grandmother, my mm. heart and my soul, mm. my grandmother. But so many people, I was stepping when I was in middle and school. And so what's stepping your uh, So many out? things because I, I resonated, you know, I really could relate to Blessing because I academically had the ability, but I didn't have the focus. I'd rather be doing other things. You mm. know what I'm saying? And people saw you are so smart. You come in, take a test, but you don't come to class. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. it's, it's so a it opens, wonderful time. It opens August 4th. August 4th. Take your Go daughters, take your take sons. Your everybody. Take everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Take everybody. everybody. Resonates with everything. Everybody. How many you screens are going to be on August 4th? <laughs> um, it's going to be in 10 theaters August 4th, and then it'll do 25 August 11th, and then as time pushes, it'll keep on pushing, but we definitely gotta, go we see gotta look for it. Family huh? movie. Um, it's definitely going to be here for sure. No, we have All to right. find, find it. Yeah, find you have to go it. find it. it. Go find it. August and 4th. get some step in your life. <laughs> step in life. <laughs> Coach G, Gary McIntyre. Thank you. Be more. Hey. <laughs> Coppin. Hey, Coppin. Delta. Ooh. <laughs>